Hi, my name is Steve Young. <clears throat> Welcome to another short video where we uh, aim to answer uh, some of the more frequently asked questions that we receive. Uh, today's question is, can I test a mystery device, a device that has no ID? Uh, the short answer is yes, you can. So let's uh, show you how to do it. Um, you simply navigate to device test, uh, the tab on the bottom there, and then we simply go to device ID and perform device ID. Uh, so this is a power test. So you'll need to have power attached to your board or if you're, if you're testing out of circuit, then your breadboard or patch board will need to have um, power attached to our UUT supplies. Um, so we start off by selecting a clip that matches our mystery device. Uh, it's not unusual for devices to appear in your workshop uh, that have been um, maybe over the, the, the over time the, the, the marking has been erased or it's been erased deliberately. So we select our 14 pin clip and we select which socket we want our device to be attached to and then we click OK. So what we do, it prompts you to attach your clip to your device and we simply attach our clip as instructed and now Test view is interrogating that device and it's looking at the, the patterns that it detects and it looks through our library of over 50,000 devices and it looks for a match. And we can see here that it, it, it can offer us four matches to uh, what is, what's been detected. So we've got two TTL devices. Uh, one's a hex inverter and one's a Schmidt trigger version of that inverter and two CMOS devices, again, a hex inverter and a Schmidt trigger version of that device. Um, so we've now detected that we think it's a hex inverter. Uh, and now we can test that device. Uh, so once we, we have our options, we can simply navigate to the test icon at the top here and we can select new device. And we simply type in the device number that's been detected and we click OK. We select the default 14 pin to match our device. And now test view goes away and it performs a regular functional test from the library. And you can see that it's now a functional pass. So we've, we've gone from not knowing what a device is to having four options for that device and then testing it and seeing that that device is a pass. So all of this information is in our help file. Uh, the, the help file contains as much information as we can. So all we're looking for in, in here is device ID. And here we go. It'll show you how to perform a device ID. So all the information is in our help file. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope to see you on another video soon. Thank you.